be updated, so we're just going to be looking at a little recap of what it was like after last week. So, go through the schedule. As you can see, doing Goaty and Frontier today. Um, as you can see on there as well, you can see the lap times, so try to try to remember those laps, or the lap counts. Um, we're going to be doing 11 laps at Goaty, and yeah, that's not a mistake. That is actually how many laps we're doing. Um, we're going to be doing 27 at Frontier. We're going to be two pretty long, grueling races, despite the fact that it's a doubleheader. It's still, it's still going to take some effort uh, out of these drivers, for sure, um, to get through this night. And then, of course, looking forward to, after this doubleheader, uh, we're going to have Chili Cups. So two big ovals, two freaking big schlammers right out of the right out of the gate pretty much um, and then we get the new ovals later on at Angel Park as well yeah Chili Cup that'll be insane that'll be next week after Game of Thrones is over <laughs> go back to the points you already, if you already saw the recap you already know all this shit um, but yeah you can look at all that details having a pretty good start to the season um, Slaunch is complaining about host goose real deal is uh, not blaming himself ump is um, conking Roman's by, Opix is somehow in sixth. Hunter's bitching about the tracks there in seventh. Vulcan's rage quitting in eighth. Uh, Camby's just, <laughs> Camby's, just <laughs> Camby's just not wiggling the stick in ninth. And there's elite in tenth. Um, and then we'll get to this shit later. Alright, so now that we're set up here, oh wait, do we have the heat results? Let's see if we have the heat results, because that'll help me out a little bit. We do. Oh, yeah. Alright, so, um, for Godi, two heats, of course. Winners of those heats. Uh, heat 1 was won by Roman, and Heat 2 was won by Luke, so that's what we're starting off with. And Roman won the coin toss, so he's going to be starting off here in the front row. So that's him in first, Luke in second. Is that, yes it is, Opix in third. Ump in fourth, detail in fifth. You gotta love the armor conking already. Pancake in sixth, Slaunch in seventh, Real Deal in eighth, Camby in ninth, Elite tenth, Shift eleventh, Hunter twelfth, uh, Fireball here in thirteenth and in fourteenth. Or wait, sorry, Fireball in fourteenth. That's actually Vulcan in thirteenth. You love the armor. You love the armor. All right. <clears throat> and yeah, you did not mishear me. Uh, that is Pancake in sixth, or is he in sixth? Yep. Making his return here in season 11. Let's get a nice shot. Remember, it's going to be an 11 lap race. Not a typo, not a mistake, not misspeaking here. 11 lap race. That is what it is. Here at Goaty. And the heats were cheesy, and I'm sure this feature is going to be even cheesier. I'm going to start moving up here. Lights are off. We are green. I wanted to move up a little bit because the start is insane. This first corner is going to be a tough one. Love seeing all the drivers slam into that. Actually, surprisingly clean. I thought that was going to be super conky uh, first time around, but no, it's actually not too bad. Oh, Ump's going to go way wide. Oh, that's unfortunate. He almost had a really good rejoin. It has to rejoin at like the worst spot. Can be in the pole there. Oh, that's a... Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on, wait. We may have to get another shot of that. Hold on. We have to get another shot of that there. Hold on, let's see. Uh, let's see where the drive. Oh, perfect, perfect. So let's see what happens here. And yeah, we'll just go about right here. So into this like tough little downhill. I think that's detail getting collected right there. And then when he tries to rejoin, just absolutely conked. I think that's Vulcan involved. Shift fireball ump as well. So many drivers involved in that terrible start for many racers here. And that's definitely going to be some adversity for detail already towards the back. Uh, off a two win streak right now so it's going to be tough for him to come back up to the front in this race here towards the front uh, we have Roman currently leading and then in the rest of the top three we're going to have Luke and actually Opix still holding on to that podium spot so doing a pretty good job so far that's actually real deal there in fourth is that? Elite is still holding on to fifth oh my goodness Oh my goodness. I should have watched this corner. This corner is going to be cheesy all race. I should have just stayed on with this one. Oh, yeah. You got some people... I mean, obviously, like ideally, you want to try to stick it as far inside as you can there, but that is easier said than done. And this is definitely the hard part of the track here. 
that we've, uh, yeah, Hunter getting collected there. He's going to be stuck. Get cocked, biatch. That's what you get for bitching about the track. <laughs> All right. Going through the rest of it though, that's that's definitely the hard part of the track. Like starting with that um, with that neck camber all the way down to right about there or so, I would say, is not very easy. That is uh, that is a very difficult part of the track, and I would say easily the most difficult part of the track, and is is definitely going to contribute um, to the to the gaps that we're going to see. And what we usually see with really big tracks like this is usually really big gaps. And obviously in the first lap here, it's not so bad, but after 11 laps, which doesn't sound like much, but that is a lot of time, especially since these lap times run over two minutes long, it's going to be a lot of time. So Roman is going to lead down the first lap here, but he's got Luke and Real Dill real close behind him. Rest of these drivers coming down the last corner. Look at how gapped it is already. I mean, the top three is pretty close, but everyone else, it's pretty nutty right now. That's, that's Opix still holding on the fourth right there, Pancake rounding out the top five. And nobody, oh, Elite, oh, oh no, he's going to get passed by Detail, Ump, Slaunch, maybe even, maybe even, it might have been Vulcan there, or Fireball. So a big pack, going to be going by Elite after he just absolutely conks right there. Let's watch this pack for a little bit. Oh, Slaunch potentially getting on the outside, but Ump is going to hold on to that and Slaunch off the track. That is super unfortunate, that battle got way tighter than I think either of them expected. Oh, more pole conkage and the double hairpins, and... I think that, like, like I said, that other part of the track is the hard part of the track, but I think this part's kind of underrated too. This this whole sector that you're looking at right here is also um, pretty tough. So definitely, uh, Godi definitely holds no punches. <laughs> and there's uh, there's just full conk here, and that is just how it's going to be. This top three battle is heating up. It's getting super close right now. Roman, Luke, and Real Deal. And Real Deal's probably trying to hope that Roman can hold on to this, but he just absolutely conked it there. I think the Binus just got him a little too excited, and he just went way off track, and that is unfortunate. Not only is he going to lose the lead, but in that corner, he's also going to lose second. Oh, that goose off the side. Unexpected. That may affect some of the drivers here. Real Dill contending for the lead. Close. Battles side by side. Luke will end up holding on to it. That top three. Battle, they, they've had a great start. It's honestly a really good start for all three of them. Way ahead. Definitely where they need to be. Definitely where they want to be, for sure. So all three of those drivers with a pretty big advantage in the start of this race. And don't worry, that Roman conk, like, you know, can pick on them a little bit. But that is not an easy corner. That, that is not an easy corner whatsoever. And you're going to see some really good drivers mess up that corner a lot. Like It's going to happen several times throughout the race. It's going to happen more times it's gonna happen several times for gp specialists they'll they'll mess it up like two or three times in this 11 lap race like it's it's definitely gonna screw everyone over and then after that as well you have the rock uh the downhill rock chicane pretty much and that one is really tough you're gonna see a lot of people mess that up after that you have the quad chicane which is um like you can i would say that's the easiest to take slow but if you really want to gain time on it and be fast in it, it can also be tough. Like, Out of those three sections, I would say you have the least chance of crashing there. Um, but that does not mean that it is easy. That does not mean that you're not going to be gaining time there. Um, you know, it's, it's still going to be tough. And there's still going to be time left on the table there. So the top three is stretched out a little bit. Luke's getting a little bit of a gap. Real deal, starting to potentially gap Roman. This is Pancake in fourth, Detail in fifth. Opix now falling down to sixth, but still a really good start for him. So maybe he can hold on to a good race here. Probably surprised at uh, at the heat result, I would say. Damn. This track really is Mirabilis GP. Like the way it's designed, it's really similar. So here we have potentially a battle heating up for fourth place. Could get pretty interesting. Oh, Pits, did anybody... Wait, are we still on... Oh my goodness. Are we still on lap two? We're still on lap two. Oh my god. We're still on lap two. See, as I was speaking of... Oh, Real Deal conked. I was trying to go on board. Sorry about that. Real Deal conks that corner. And around the outside has the balls to go for it in the Rock Chicane and hold on to that position. Take it back from, from Roman as Roman was trying to take it. That was actually a really good move. I got to give credit to Real Deal on that one. That was, that was definitely not an easy move to make, but that was solid. Solid, solid, solid. Ump getting involved there with Opix, not trying to waste any time if he possibly can. Get there, get by him as fast as he as fast as he possibly can. Slaunch still kind of lurking in the back, but 
even though it's a really rough start, race is definitely not over yet. Nah, Roman, fuck you. You you just got wrecked, all right? You know what? I'm giving you negative seven buy points for that comment. And you know what? There's more where that came from, so you better watch your mouth, bitch. We're going to be on the end, completing the third lap here. Any pits? Any pits? Top. Oh, there it is. Detail is going to be going in for his first pit, I think. I'll try to keep track of the pits the best that I can because I feel like on this track uh, it's pretty easy. Well, for the rest of the field, sorry if I don't catch him because you guys are way far behind. Holy shit. I mean, this may be influenced by pits, but look at that gap. <coughs> I think Slaunch is in like 7th or 8th. I don't exactly remember, but here's Elite behind him, and the gaps are just insane. I actually can't believe. I mean, there, there probably are some pits factored in here, but look at those gaps already. Actually crazy. I did not expect it to be that bad already. But uh, here we are. Real Deal still holding on to that second place spot, but Roman not going away. Doing a pretty decent job so far. Pancake kind of on an island right now. Ump, same boat. Opix potentially has a challenger in Slaunch coming up soon. And then Detail's kind of on his own. Remember he took that pit. I saw that. I saw that. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Wait. Wait. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Uh, uh. And back to your regularly scheduled programming. Real Deal is doing a decent job right now, uh, holding on to second, but like I said, Roman's not giving up on this fight quite yet. Real Deal started off the race really hungry, making some fat moves. Um, definitely like contending for the lead, but I think that these last, like, last lap and a half or so, oh, he takes that corner rough again. But Roman's not able to capitalize. I think this last, like, lap and a half or so, he just hasn't been feeling it. And uh, is still holding on to that spot from Roman, but he's not really gaining on Luke. And he's... Oh! Oh, Roman might get by him. I hope you guys were still watching him, because I was. Real deal. Popped a two-wheel in the chicane, and Roman was able to get by. So several conks leading up to that, and Roman now takes back the second place spot. So real deal. In in some in some rough waters so far. Not not great looks. He was looking really hungry in the start, looked super fast. But this like I said, this last like lap and a half, two laps or so have just not been too great for him. And losing the spot to Roman there is definitely definitely gonna put a bit of a damper on his race, but there's still plenty of time left. Like I know it doesn't seem like it, but there's a lot of time left. I mean, what what lap are we on? What we're we're about to hit lap uh we're about to hit four completed here. There's time left. Real Deal's interesting strat call gonna go for a pit there. Let's see how this works out. And then the rest of we got pancake, we got ump. They've still got pits to go, I believe. Um, Opix is still up in there. Slaunch and detail, and detail's gonna get his two pits done right away. An interesting strat call. Let's see where Real Deal comes. Back out in front of real quick. Oh, ooh, he does it. Comes out in front of Opix, and that's going to give him some clean air. That's definitely what he wanted. Let's see where Detail comes out. Well, he's going to come out behind Elite. He should be in front of Elite, to be honest. Uh, but he's going to come out behind him. <laughs> Remember during the race when Elite was like, Oh, Detail, because you asked nicely, I'll let you by. It's not because I cut, like, 18 seconds of the track. No, it's not because of that. Because you asked nicely and politely and said, please, I'm gonna let you by, dog. I don't want to attract any attention to what I did on the track. <laughs> we got Real Deal is now in, I think he's in, is he still fifth? I think he's still fifth. So still in the top five, despite those pits. And as you can see, the gaps in this top five have opened up quite a bit already. Um, so as we go through here, this is still Luke in the lead, still Roman in second. With Pitts, however, Pancake has now worked his way into the podium position. Ump after a terrible start in fourth, which is not too bad. Real Dill in fifth, Opix in sixth, Slaunch in seventh. 
and then just big gap, and then their detail did get by Elite, so he is in 8th right now, but a lot of clean air. And that is what you want to do with your pitch strats. You want to try to give yourself clean air. There goes Slaunch on Opix. Slaunch sticking that outside. Can he do the same thing that Rildo did? Oh, it's a little rough, a little rough, but... He might have it. Here comes Opix back in the chicane. Now, this is what we love to see. This is the potential of this track right here. Let's go, Opix. Get get back. Oh, oh, they're not giving up. And it looks like Slaunch will hold on to the position. Opix with a nice try of fighting back there that lasted several corners. Just did not want to give up on the spot, but eventually Slaunch will take it. Who's that? I think someone, real deal perhaps, getting pretty close to Ump here. Let's see when they come out of the cave. Yeah, Rildal has caught Ump. Could be a good opportunity for him if he can get by him. Let's go to the, the stretch here, though. Front stretch. And that's going to be Luke leading down another lap. Not taking a pit. Roman not taking a pit. Pancake not taking a pit. And the rest of the top five as well. So a lot of these guys in the top five really holding on to their pits. Trying to save him for later. Does no. Slaunch not going to go for it. Opix not either. So a lot of these guys really holding on to it. Detail is the one with the early pitch strategy right now. And that's that's why he's so far behind. But you also got to think, like, with those double pits, he's basically ahead of Slaunch and Opix. I think the question is, like, where he's going to come out of, um, you know, in comparison to Real Deal. And Ump is probably a realistic opportunity. So a really slow start for Detail after two really good weeks in a row. But definitely not over. I think we're going to see some fat pitch strategy here at Goaty. For him, uh, because these other guys aren't really doing that yet. You know, hopefully hopefully they'll get into it at some point. Let's go back with Real Deal here. This might be the closest to, like, a legit battle that we have right now. Uh, I'm not going to... I'll take the lap counter off, because you don't really need it. Um, but this is the closest we have to a really strong battle right here. He's going to uh, watch this for a little bit. Let's see how he can work by Ump. If he can. If he's going to get held up here, or if he's going to try to get by him. <laughs> I mean, Ump's definitely had a good comeback. Like I said, that start, remember seeing the start, like it was not a good start for him, not at all. So even though he still has pits to go, not a bad position for him to be in. You also got to remember, Real Dill does have one pit down. He does have one more pit to do as well. So he's not in as bad of a position as he looks right now. It's not the best position, but it's not as bad as it looks, okay? It's not, it's not that bad. Takes the Rock Chicane pretty well there. Let's see if he gains any time in the Quad Chicanes. Uh, maybe not. I don't think so. I think um, maybe even ran that a little bit faster. They're pretty close. I don't know. It was it was fairly close. I I can't really call it too much for one person there. That is going to give Ump a pretty big gap, though. I think the difference maker there was really the Ned Camber. Uh, Ump ran that Ned Camber really well. Real Deal runs that freaking down low chicane really well. Not really looked at as a skill part of the track, but look at that. He's making gains. He just gained so much time off that. And uh, definitely helping him out. That that part of the track is not looked at as like one of the main skill parts of the track, but he's making it work. Gaining time off it. Let's get a look at these pits again. Top three staying in, but we do have Real Deal. Going to go in for his second pit. Now, this is questionable. Where is he going to come out? Oh, this might be good. He's going to come out behind Slaunch. 100%. So, Real Deal, probably not too happy with this. Times his pit, you know, just not, not correctly. Not correctly. Not what he was hoping for. Oh, but he might. Oh, no. Now he's going to have Slaunch with, with Slaunch's mistake in that hairpin. Now, Real Deal will be right behind him. So he's going to work this, and Real Deal, honestly, closest battle on track again, so we're going to stay on board with him here, because it's getting pretty nice. As you can see, really working those corners as tightly as he can. Double hairpin, I think an underrated, like I said, this whole first sector is kind of underrated. Um, you really think of that, uh, that, uh, I guess you could even call it like the middle sector on this track, even. It, if there's like four, four sectors of this track, it's like the third sector. Um... There's probably like five or six, though, let's be honest. It's that big. Anyways, from the Ned Camber going to, like, that last chicane is pretty much what I'm talking about. That's probably looked at as the the whole, like, that's where the time is made. That is the big difference maker, the X factor on this track, is that whole, you know, maybe 30-second long section right there. But that first, uh, that that early section um, from the, from the off-camber part of the track all the way to uh all the way to the double hairpins is actually pretty tough 
It's actually pretty tough. You can make a lot of mistakes there. You can make up a lot of time. Oh, that is tough. That is tough. Real though going down in front of Detail. And Detail is making big gains right there. But the fact that he's not going to get that spot is so unfortunate because he was just making up so much time. But now we have a new battle on our hands, Detail and Real Deal. It's a section, not a sector. It is a sector, you dumbass. Watch fucking F1. <laughs> I'm not holding any punches today. It's a section, if it's like Supercross, you have one section where it's like one continuous line. If you have multiple corners tied together, it's a sector. Jesus! And we have Detail with a pretty nice run right here. And he might actually get this spot. Oh, D Real Deal tried to run him down. Detail wasn't having it. And he is going to end up getting that spot on Real Deal. And, oh, who do we have? Roman with his first pit. Uh, Pancake staying out. Ump staying out. I think Luke also staying out as well. I could be wrong on that. Slaunch staying out. And then for the rest of these spots, it's going to be Opix going in for another pit. I this might be his second pit. I'm not sure. Could be his first as well. You <laughs> clear the sector. All right, Roman. I'm not trying to be mean, all right? I'm just, I'm feeling it. You come in trying to correct when you don't have any right to correct, all right? I got a conky. I got a conky. I know you're coming in strong with the righteous byness, but I, I just can't let you have that. So right now we're looking at a... A, uh, a Luke, Pancake, Ump, top three, which regardless of the order is probably a top three that you'd expect to see on a Supercross, but that is currently the top three that we are seeing on a GP right now. But you also have to think, uh, I think that Luke is not taking any pits. I believe uh, Pancake is not taking any pits. Ump also not taking any pits. Roman just got his first pit done, and he's in fourth. Then here in fifth, you have Slaunch, who I believe hasn't taken any pits either. And then you have Detail and Real Deal, which are the first two drivers that we see this far up front of the pack that have both of their pits done so even though we have this top three of luke pancake and ump way ahead right now we also got to remember these guys do not have any pits done so there's a lot of time left a lot of time left for things to switch up here even call it a section after you call it no i was talking about something else you piece of ass god like this boom 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 Boom, 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 boom. That's a sector, okay? That's way too big to be a section. God, can we get some conk asses in the chat? And what happened here? Pancake must have screwed up really hard while I was roasting Roman right there because Ump is now really close to him, pretty much right on his bumper. And here it is. So Luke's going to be going in for his first pit. So we'll see how this works out. I believe first pit. What lap are we on? Yeah. Oh my god. We're about to be at 8 completed, and there's still so much time left. So Pancake is going to stay out. Ump, getting so close to him, actually decides to go in for his first pit. So we'll see how that strategy works out for him. Uh, Roman here, going to be going in for his second pit. Slaunch going in for his first pit. This is a big pit lap here. These four drivers coming in. Oh! Look at that. Look at that, Roman. Now this is interesting. Roman comes out just barely in front of detail here, and I think I'm showing... Like, how alive uh, Slaunch is going to be behind Real Deal as well. I think the top five hopes. He, he has another pit to go, so the top five hopes for him are probably over. But this is big. So you got to remember that Roman was uh, Roman was in second. He was pretty decisively in second uh, when he had not come in for his pits. So the fact that he has two pits done and details right behind him here, this may be a legit battle for second place. That's going to be really hard for them to catch up to. I think Luke has a pretty big lead at this point, but this is actually, this is actually huge. Detail takes the spot there in the double hairpins. It was a nice move, and like I said, when the when these pits work out, that might be the second place battle. Which means that Roman is still trying to hold on to a podium spot, and Real Deal way behind there. He's he's got some work to do if he wants to get back up to competing with Roman. He was competing with him pretty good or up early in the race, uh, but at this point now he's not even close. Wow, Roman always calls me a Yerk Shamer, then he calls me a butt cheek sucker. You know what? Ban him. Prin, Prin, what do you think of Roman? Prin, what do you think of Roman? Speak. Speak. She just left the room, because she's pissed. She just can't believe it. Alright, so I think that, like, a lot of these battles right now are kind of cheesed. Uh, because of the pits that are remaining. 
So we're going to keep our eyes on the pits yet again. And we, we will have the closing laps, though. We'll have those battles settle in because uh, we're going to be done with pits for a lot of people here soon. Potentially several drivers finishing their pits here. And remember that Pancake's actually the only driver that hasn't gone in for a pit yet. And he is going to do that right here. So Pancake going in for his first pit. There's Luke going in for his second pit. And as you can see, Luke's going to have a pretty strong lead. Pancake, on the other hand, he's going to have some cont contenders there for sure because he still has another pit to go. Ump doing his second pit, and it was looking so good for him, so strong. But he's going to come out just in front of Slaunch here, which is not too bad. But with how far up he was, like before the pits, I'm sure that's not what he was hoping for. And that's what two pits done. Slaunch, does Slaunch still have another pit? I'm not sure. I mean, it, it really doesn't matter at this point. Um, like, he's kind of conked at this point anyways, but he may have another pit remaining. Let's get an update on our other positions. Remember, Pancake still has another pit, and look at this. Detail's definitely going to get by him. I think Roman's going to get by him. Real Dill might get by him. I think it's going to be close there between Pancake and Real Dill, is what we may see here. I think it's going to be really close between those drivers when he exits his pit. And remember, Pancake's like the big player here at this point that still has a pit left, so we're going to have to keep close eyes on him. Alright, so... Remember, when we get to the conclusion of this lap, this is going to be big here. We could see potentially three drivers get by Pancake here when he, when he takes his pit. Um, but like I said, I think it may be close between him and Real Dill. If not, if not those two, then him and Ump. I don't know how much time, though. Like, I haven't... I really don't know the pits, like, the gaps in the pits that well on this track, so I'm not really sure, like, how much time he's going to lose. But we'll see. I mean, this is the big factor at this point, so we'll see how it goes. And yeah, like I said, I think I don't think he's going to be able to compete for the lead at this point unless something crazy happens, but I think Detail is definitely locking in that second place here. Remember, like he's already stretched that gap on Roman. He's he's got to be the fastest driver on track like these last couple laps, just making insane gains. But here we go. We're going into the white flag lap here. So white flag right there for Luke. For Detail in second, it's going to be white and for Roman in third, potentially holding on to yet another podium. This could be two podiums in a row for Roman. There's Pancake in his pit. Let's see where he comes out. He's not... Oh, no, he makes a mistake. He gets on the back of his seat. On the back of his seat instead of getting back onto the Mongoose. And that could have been crucial. Look at this. He's going to come out behind Ump. I thought it was going to be close with Real Dill, but it's actually going to be close with Ump. And we'll have to see if he can make up that position here. Slaunch also went in for his pit, but I think he's pretty much, like, set at this point. And honestly, like, all these top spots I feel like are set. This is actually the battle right here. Battle for top five, I think. Yeah, this is the battle for fifth. Ump could potentially steal a top five here from Pancake if he can hold on to this here at Goaty GP. And this is definitely the, the last lap battle that we're going to see here. The rest of these positions are pretty well settled at this point. The crazy caps of the pits just made this race insane. Although, you know, like for the top spots, once the pits worked out, it kind of did get a little bit closer. Um, but a lot of these gaps are still pretty crazy, though. Just closer than they were. Let's see if we can make it happen. I'm definitely going to try to hold on to this spot. He had a really rough Dillion. First GP race of the season. Did not go too well for him. And if he could come back for a top five here, that would actually be really good. That'd also be two top fives in a row. He's opening the door. Pancake around the outside. Not going to happen. Tried to just squeeze it in there, but it just wasn't happening. Ump definitely opened up the door there. But then was able to shut it back, close right afterwards, and Pancake spinning out there, just going hard, trying to get any last speed that he could. I think that that's probably going to be it for any position battles that we have remaining here in this race. And We're going to be coming to the final corner here. Turn, if I recall correctly, 45 on this insane course. For the final time, 
I feel like that race went by really fast, even though it was a really long race. And Luke's going to take the win here at Goaty. But coming in second, Detail fought back really hard, and he will take that second place spot. So his, his win streak's going to be over, but another great finish. Roman with another great finish as well. Two podiums in a row. Real Dill coming in fourth. Ump in fifth. Pancake in sixth. And then we have gaps. <laughs> That's going to be Slaunch there in seventh. Oh my god, revenge just comes in the general. That's kind of funny. I didn't miss anyone cross the line, did I? I don't think so. Uh, what is this? Fireball here for eighth? I think Fireball had a terrible start, so... I mean, coming home in 8th is probably what he expected. Oh, that's Opix, or wait, what? What? Well, I think once Opix sees what Elite did, it'll be it'll be Opix in 9th, it'll be Elite wherever. Probably like Hunter in 10th or so, Vulcan, uh, Shift, Camby. So that's how the results pan out here at uh, at Goaty. We don't have the full, full results yet, um, so sorry about that. But like I said, you know... <laughs> doing the recaps. I don't know if I've said that yet tonight, but I was planning on it. So, uh, whenever the docs get done is pretty much when I do the recaps. I'm, I'm assuming it'll probably be Sunday or Monday again this week, especially because it was a double header. Um, so if you want to catch up on the points and the official results and all that stuff, we'll, we'll get back to that when the recap comes out. But for now, the results that I gave you are what we have. Well, Opix, did you see what Elite did earlier in the race, though? Did you miss that? Because it was pretty bad. 